Hello guys, today I will be showing you the Musa Awakening class reboot. Let's start off with learning skills. Before we start with learning skills, follow the instructions to get yourself a secret book of old moon. So, press escape, then F11, and then 4. And submit the coupon showed on the screen to get a secret book of moon, 3 days duration, so you can correct any mistakes that happen during learning skills. Just learn all the skills on awakening page. I hope you have enough skill points though. If you don't have enough skill points, just learn what you can and go grind on Polly's forest for skill points. Now the main skills page. The passive section is a must. Please learn those skills first and afterwards every other, based on how much skill points you have. I will let you know what skills you can leave out, if you don't have enough skill points. I had some skills already learned here, I apologize for that. Just try to follow me and learn all the skills I've learned. I've left out most of the skills that are useless when you play on Awakening, so you should be fine. If you don't have enough skill points, just leave out some skills, like, Deep Slice, Whirlwind Cut, Rising Storm Blaze, Arrow Grapple, Evasive Shot, and even other arrow skills, if you don't like Bow. Just make sure you learn the stub arrow, because you will need it later for skill enhancement. Retaliation is the block in the main class, so make sure you learn it at least to level 1, so you can block hits by pressing Q, while playing with main weapon. Lock the second Rage Absorption and Rage Transfer, because you don't want to mess up your combos during grinding or PvP. And that would be it for the skills. Now let's switch to Skill Enhancement page. I found using these three skills the best. Ultimate Musa Spirit gives your critical rate buff and heals you pretty well. I would highly recommend it. The Quick Shot does a lot of damage and it's usable from a Quick War slot while you are using Awakening Weapon. The same goes for Storm Slash. All three skills are usable from Quick Bar Slot. Now let's move on with skills visuals and their input. Notice the skill log, skill names, and their inputs on the left side of the screen. I have few skills on Quick Slot Bar, that's why they won't be shown on the input bar. I would recommend putting these skills on Quick Slot Bar, since you can use them also to switch between main and awakening weapons. For example, you can use projection to switch to awakening. Quick Shot, Blooming, Storm Slash, Ultimate Moose's Spirit can be used to switch to main weapon. Now let's put some add-ons on skills. You can find your nearest skill instructor by clicking on the search button and afterwards on skill instructor. Those are my PvE add-ons. The add-ons that I've chosen, might not be the best ones. We'll still have to test everything out. But for now they are doing perfect job. Let's move on with ones that I use in PvP. I actually switch up only few of them, as you will see. And that's it, that are my add-ons. Depending on your gameplay and what combos you use, you might have to adjust them. Now let's move to the skill changes. In my opinion Musa got buffed well, the class deserved this. The biggest changes I've noticed, happened to the following skills. Musa's soul got buffed, it now increases movement speed, and melee accuracy. Musa's resolve does more damage now and its range got increased. 
So this is going to be the main skill for pulling mobs together, or a quick CC in PvP. Crosscut does more damage now and gives us attack speed buff. Flow dash slash has no super armor protection anymore. It used to have it on beginning of the skill. Crust Crusher and Foul Play have now full forward guard protection. Before rework it used to have a little gap between its animation and foul play. Backflow's cooldown time got decreased and damage increased. Fiery Crevices got damage booster, and you can't use it anymore during its on cooldown. Projection's damage and range got increased. One step back is one of my favorite skills now. It is now fully protected with super armor and the jumping distance got increased. This skill was almost useless before the rework. Fiery Angel got as well full super armor protection, which is awesome. The Inferno Slash skill is a new one and it's a pretty decent skill. Does nice damage. The only downside of it is, that it's not protected at all. So use the skill wisely. I didn't notice any changes on main skills, besides Stub Arrow. You can't shot it infinitely anymore. You can only shot it 2 times and then wait for the cooldown that also got increased to 14 seconds. And you can't put it on quick slot bar anymore. I am not pretty sure, but I think 2 arrow skills got removed. If I remember well, they were called triple shot and charged stub arrow. Though I've never used them, so I don't care much about them being removed. Let's check some combos that I use. I like mixing dashes in between, to position myself better, to damage monsters more. I always try to buff myself before first attacking a mob pack or during the first few hits, using W plus F and A plus L and B and of course the toggle skills. I actually noticed a big difference grinding at star's end after rework. The mobs die way faster than before. I found this one quite nice. So you buff yourself up, then do Moose's Resolve and then proceed with Crust Crusher. And Foul Play. Does some nice damage. And of course it wouldn't be me if I didn't try to grind Ash Forest with this gear. I just had to. So let's see if I survive. Love them, dashes. I didn't want to use the E buff just to see how long I could stand without extra resistance. But I also didn't really allow them to hit me, lol. Because I know I wouldn't stand more than 3 hits. Sag. So enough of Ash Forest, I am landing in a loop here. They would never let me go. Let's jump to the conclusion part. I am positively surprised by the Musa rework. There are more skills that got changed, beside those I've shown in the video, the ones I showed are just highlights. So generally speaking, Musa got way faster movement after rework, due to adjusted dash. The skills have way wider area of environment or O and are even looking better than before. Much more powerful and flashy which makes the class even more enjoyable. We don't have to switch to main weapons anymore to buff ourselves up and we can actually damage the enemies while we are buffing up and being protected. The added protection to the skills is a real game changer for Musa. Really awesome, I am really enjoying the Musa rework. The character's skills look amazing and the way it performs in combat is just outstanding. I hope you guys enjoyed. That would be it from me in this video. See you next time.